Hello there World of Tankers, welcome back to a new video. Today we I am recording the first World of Tanks Blitz video with voiceover. And now on your screen you will see the tier 2 or nowadays tier 1 Hago with a legendary camouflage. How was this legendary camouflage available you might ask yourself and is it still available? Well as you see the Camouflage is called Gub Type 95 Hago. It was released on the 17th of September from two, on 2016 and it lasted around 2 weeks till 30, 30 September. And the way you could get this, if I tell the truth, you guys are probably a bit disappointed at War Gaming. Because you need to pay 5 US dollars. Or I think you could buy the Bernoulli with all the three tanks. But uh, you needed to pay five dollars at least for a tier two camouflage. Make up your mind, War Gaming. I mean, I know you're a company. I know you need money. But nowadays, five dollars for a T1 camouflage. It's too much. It's T1, of course. 5.5 update, you know. Nowadays, the Hago moved from tier two to T1. It's not gonna work war gaming. If you put it back for sale because it's only been for sale once and not many people bought it. But again, if you want if they wanna sell it again, it would come at a very cheap price for gold. Or maybe even a pop-up offer or maybe even for credits. Because if you can give the head for cave and the tiger guru more in mind all those tanks for free. Why can't you give this legendary camouflage for free in an event of course, no? Not give it to every single player, but you know, get like, for example, the, the Panzer for Gargoyle event, you know, get a few victories and you can get this legendary camouflage. You know, it, it's something, you know, that everyone will appreciate, it won't hurt anyone, it's not like you're releasing an, an Annihilator at T1. It's only a cool little legendary camouflage, because I like the look of it, seriously. It looks historical, I'm a big fan of the Girls in Panzer show, so I wouldn't mind getting this on my Hago, even though it's tier 1. Now, of course, it, this was 5 years ago, of course, it's in the old, very old mines map, and not many people bought it. I only seen it once in the training room, that's how rare this camouflage is. And, I mean, I don't know what they mean plans to do with it. Maybe they're gonna keep it like that and not sell it again. I think that's what they wanna do because, you know, if they will sell it, of course, not many people are willing to spend five dollars for a tier one legendary camo. Maybe the collectors like Tom Booth and Mitsu, you know, because it's their job, you know, they need to make some content. But... I'm a bit worried because if they want to do this more often, of course you are gonna discuss your player base, of course. Because paying, you know, for newbies, you know, for new paid win players that you know just took a few hundred dollars into everything they see because they you know they have nothing else better to do with their life. Sure, for them it's fun, you know, they get some extra cosmetic items. But for the free-to-play community, even though it's only a camouflage. And it's not that expensive, $5. It's, you know, it's not very nice to treat your players that way. For such a small thing. And I think Wargaming should do something about this and re-release it into an event. Because, of course, we have the Panzer for Gargoyle event. We have the Kunstpanzer event. And then now, of course, the upcoming VK 3801P event is coming. And you know why why can't you give it back? Because I like the look of it. As I said, it felt historical, it looks accurate to the Golden Panzer series from the fan. So what are you doing, Mark Game? It's been it's probably the rarest camouflage out there. Not many people have seen it. I only seen it once. And I'm hoping they're gonna bring it back. Because it looks it looks pretty cool in my opinion. Anyways, back to the game. Our friend Mumi finished off with a second class, I think. Yeah, he did very good in his let's in his uh, in his Type 95. Well, anyway, that is the video. Hope you all enjoyed this small little 
back in time video about this event and i'll see you all in the next one